It was an emotional service to honor a man that family called a humble hero. About a dozen relatives and friends gathered to remember Hugo Alfredo Talayax. The man police say was stabbed to death while trying to help a woman who was being attacked. Some here call his life a message about humanity. He did it once. Like, this is a thing that twice that he tried to help someone before also, but he's the one who got killed this time. Taliax's brother said it was difficult to talk about the way his brother died. In this surveillance video, the 31-year-old is seen falling to the ground in Queens, New York. Some passers-by paused and then left. Others just kept walking. He lay there for about an hour after his life came to an end. I can't explain that part that how people, 25 people, just walk and walk away from him and nobody help him. That's going to hurt me also. And Police are still looking for the woman Taliox rescued along with the man with whom she had fought. Investigators believe the two may have been in a relationship. Relatives of Taliox say their biggest concern is that the suspect is still on the loose and could harm someone else. We don't have really nothing bad again is the killer, but we just want to know why that happened and why he did kill him. Taliox had moved to New York hoping to find work. Relatives say they lost contact after he was forced to live on the streets and in city shelters. His body will now be repatriated to his native Guatemala, where his family says they plan to hold a funeral Friday. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.